The following program is a West Tennessee PBS special presentation made possible through the generous financial support of viewers like you. Please visit westtnpbs.org and make a donation today so that we can continue to make local programs like this possible. Thank you. Well, good afternoon. Thank you all for having me here. Um, I'm really excited. Um, as Dr. Kirkland mentioned, I was a chemistry major. I tell my students now, I moonlight as a chemist now that I'm in <laughs> administration. Um, let's see. So today, I have the pleasure of bringing information about a really important program um, that we have in Lane College. And today, I'm going to be talking about how we develop the whole student and embody the mission of Lane through something called RARE. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the mission for you all. Um, Lane College's mission is, is very impactful to me. Uh, one of the reasons, let me start with this. One of the reasons that I ended up at Lane College, I truly believe that I was sent by God to go to Lane. Um, Dr. Kirkland mentioned that I graduated from Russ College, which, which is a small United Methodist um, affiliated school in Holly Springs, Mississippi. I don't know how many of you all are familiar with Holly Springs, Mississippi, but it, it is a small rural town in North Mississippi. Um, but it had about the same population size as Lane College. And so when I actually had friends who graduated from Lane, I saw some of the things that they were able to do. And I was really excited when I happened to see that there was an opening for a chemistry professor at Lane. And I was just like, you know what, this, this is nothing but God. And and then I got offered the position, and it has been awesome ever since. And so the mission at Lane um, is very impactful to me because Lane doesn't ask who you were. It asks what potential you have. It says we can take you and help you to become who God called you to be, and I really love that. So with strong ties to the Christian Methodist Episcopal Church, the college's mission is to develop the whole student. Academic excellence is the institution's top priority, and it is achieved through a student-centered and nurturing approach to learning that is supported by excellent teaching, teaching-related research, and service. The college believes that one's intellectual capability coupled with social and spiritual growth is essential to the development of a well-rounded individual. In keeping with this mission, the college offers creative and enriching academic programs to prepare students for their chosen careers and encourages active student engagement to cultivate lifelong learning. And that was a lot, but I really want to emphasize that piece about developing the whole student. And so we see the students as holistic and as individuals who are not just there to in gain in knowledge academically and in their fields and in their areas, but we want them to grow socially, spiritually. We want them to become persons who can engage in society as full on change makers. So let's talk about rare. And I'm gonna talk about it a little bit and then I'm gonna explain a little bit more how we got to this name rare. So Rare's function is a, it's a programmatic ent entity that we've actually used as our quality enhancement plan, and that's an accreditation piece, but ultimately the college has committed to um, this program called Rare that aims to help our students to realize the connection between their career interests, their calling and purpose, their academic journey, their personal interests, and other experiences. Now, I am an educator, so I'm going to ask you all, how many of you all knew, when you think back when you went to college or when you were in school, think back, how many of you all knew exactly what it was that you wanted to do and you had it all mapped out? Anybody in here? Beautiful. <laughs> I love that. Um, a lot of people didn't, um, and a lot of people don't. I ironically started off when I was little. I, I, I knew I was going to be a scientist. I was going to be an astronaut and a chemist, and somehow I made it back to chemistry by the time I finished up. But a lot of our students come, and they don't necessarily know what it is that they want to do. They know that they um, wanted to go to college. They know that that is a place that they can transform and become something greater and make an impact somehow on society, on their families, on their communities, and what have you. But ultimately, how to achieve that is still kind of hazy for a lot of our students. And so this aims to help them make those connections. Um, the RARE framework ensures that our graduates are equipped with both the knowledge and the skills needed, both socially and academically, to succeed, contribute, and thrive in our global society. How we actually focus on this is we have a kind of a split now, if you will. We have our zero to 60 hour population. So for those who are not in higher ed, those are our students who are in their first and second year. 
freshmen, sophomore students. Um, and then, of course, as they've gone further, that's when they're typically taking their general education program courses. And once they make it past that time, then they kind of emerge into their um, divisions and department areas. So they're more so into their majors. So this um, Lane Rare program intentionally focuses on those students as they're coming in and they're in that early stage of their development. Um, we're encouraging them to begin with an end goal in mind. So as I mentioned, a lot of our students don't necessarily have the everything figured out when they're starting off, right? But we want them to start thinking about what is it that you are interested in doing? What is it that um, makes your heart happy. Um, one of my colleagues said yesterday, uh, or excuse me, last week when we were talking about calling and purpose, I love the way she put it. Um, she said, where your interests, your passions meet what the community needs. Um, and so we're helping them to figure that out by beginning with their end goal in mind. And then we help them map that out. Um, and the idea is that if we start them early and they're able to map their success out, then they're able to self-actualize, right? If you can see it, then you can be it. Lane Rare for us is actually a merge between Career Pathways and Lane Institute. Now, you all can kind of guess what Career Pathways is. It's the college entity that helps to our students to make sure that they have placement, that they have all of the professional skills, um, you know, documents and things like that. It helps them to figure out where they're going from a professional standpoint, standpoint um, once they leave Lane College. Now, Lane Institute is actually our program that is, it's the entity that is in if you will, it's over that zero to 60 hour population. And so it encompasses a lot of things. We have, it's specifically des, um, designed for our first and second year students. So it's our FYE first year experience program, our SYE, our second year experience program. We have advising, academic, um, they're actually put into meta, ma uh, meta majors or meta interest cohorts when they come. And so they get a chance to actually interact with students who have like uh, majors with them or like interests and things that they're trying to pursue. Um, we have student life programming. We do success workshops through Lane Institute. Um, we offer academic support resources, and we have other targeted program. So some fun things sometimes. We actually uh, this fall, this past fall, just started our living learning communities at Lane, and so that actually intersects with that as well. Um, but ultimately, Lane Institute exists to uh, scaffold our students and give them the success skills that they need in order for them to um, successfully matriculate into their major areas and beyond Lane College. So as far as Lane Rare goes, it is branched off, if you will, into three key components, guided pathways, co-curricular engagement, and then um, curricular enhancement. So the guided pathways piece, that's the part that really, really focuses on that career pathway piece. So like I said, that beginning with an end goal in mind. So we help them to build a plan. So thinking about what is it that you see yourself doing? And again, this is fluid, right? Because some things change in life. What you start off with at the very beginning, I've had a number of students who come in and they're undecided. And by the time we get through the middle of the semester and they um, are in one of our classes, and they're like, you know what, hey, I'm a chemistry major now, or I want to go um, do communication and, um, uh, or music or biology or something else. Then I have those who started off, they're like, yeah, I'm a chemistry major. And by the time we get to the end of the semester, they're like, I think sociology might be a better fit for me. Um, and that's absolutely okay. And that's honestly, that is the goal of the program, right? That is what we want to see because we don't want our students um, not only wasting time, but pursuing something that really isn't for them. Uh, a lot of times we, we've seen people pursue things because, you know, hey, my dad wanted me to be this, my mom wanted me to be this, um, or I saw my sibling or somebody, or this is all I saw. Um, the only thing that I may have seen was a doctor or a pharmacist, but I'm really actually interested in um, doing something else. I had a young lady who came to my office um, a couple of weeks ago and she was majoring in criminal justice and we had a long conversation in the advising process and she loves art. She loves art and she loves writing. Um, and we found this out as she's been taking her, some of her elective courses. She's been taking a lot of, um, we put her in some, a lot of different English courses and she has just, when I say excelled in them, um, and even her professors have come back and talked about how awesome she has been in those courses. And so she recently changed her major to do an interdisciplinary study piece where she can actually merge art and English together. And so again, these are some of those conversations that are coming out of this process with Lane Rare, but that guided pathway piece, helping them figure out what it is that I'm trying to go towards and how can we get there? Um, what things do I need to do? What classes do I need to take? What additional um, 
certifications and badges? What experiences do I need to make sure that I'm involved in? So those types of things. And then the co-curricular engagement piece, that's where those badges and certifications. Nowadays, um, our students have a wealth, not just students, all of us, we have a wealth of access to earning micro-credentials and badges and certifications and anything. I mean, you can get online right now, go on and get, um, take for a couple of hours and earn a certification in, in who knows what, underwater basket weaving, I'm sure if you wanted to. Um, but because the access is there and employers and the world around us is really requiring us to learn so many different skills that go outside of just what their college major is. And so we wanted to make sure that our students are equipped with those pieces as well. And then curricular enhancement. Um, I'm really excited about that piece because if you'll see the rare courses up there, our students actually come in now and they take a course called Introduction to Career Pathways. So some of what I said as where this um, piece where they're having these aha moments, they actually occur in those classes. Um, in the Introduction to Career Pathways course, they get a chance to start building their own rare resume. They work on their career action plan. Um, they start to network on a professional networking site called Handshake that's specifically tailored to college students. Um, they interact with students and now that we have them in the cohorts, they're actually getting to have conversations um, with their peers and starting to think about, hey, what does this look like for me in the long term? And what's interesting is we tried something last fall with our Career Pathways courses and I think it worked out fairly well. Um, I heard good reception from it. We were actually able to pair our cohorts with instructors who were in those respective fields. So some of our business students, for instance, one of their instructors was an accountant. Um, and so they were able to have different conversations that you know were competent, but there's a different level of conversation that you can have with somebody who's in the area and has kind of been through what you are trying to go towards. Um, and then they have sophomore seminar, which rounds out their sophomore year. And that's the point where they level up. And at that point, they should have a more developed resume. They should have a personal statement. Um, they should have built up their profiles on the professional networking site. Uh, they have a clear audit of what they need, what they've done. They should have earned some kind of certification by that time or digital badge or micro credential um, to support them. And they have a clear vision of, okay, this is my major. This is why I'm going into it. This is any additional piece that I can bolster my resume with. These are the elective courses I need to take, so on and so forth. So now I've said rare a number of times. But now let me tell you what RARE stands for. So RARE stands for respectful, accountable, responsible, and exceptional. We want our students to be academically prepared. We want them to have the additional skills that are needed for them to be successful and to thrive in this society. And we also want them to have character that is indicative of a rare student. And so when, when we say rare student, we want you all to know, okay, I know this person has um, some development of their character um, and they have been socialized and they have an understanding of these things are important outside of just my acquisition of my field related knowledge. So we define that respectful. We want our students to be um, having a high esteem for all persons, no matter their identities, um, from what diverse population they may come from, whatever their cultural differences are, they should respect all people. We want them to be accountable they need to be able to account for their own actions. Um, they need to be able to live with their own decisions, their behavior, um, and they need to be able to account for their relationships with others. They need to be responsible. They should be able to handle their own responsibilities. And more importantly, they need to be able to exercise discipline. And then finally, exceptional. I love this one because while it sounds like it can be limiting, everybody can be exceptional. They are need to be able to have and display a high achievement mindset. The mindset piece is the key. They need to be willing to excel by going over and beyond expectations. Nowhere in that does it say you had to have the highest GPA. Nowhere in it does it say where you had to come from, who you had to be. It says that your mindset says that you're willing to go above and beyond expectations and that you have a high achievement mindset. And Lane Rare is great because it also plays into Lane College's core values, which are transformation, liberation, and celebration. We are transforming by sharing learning experiences with our students. We're building connectedness to the institution and to their community. 
and they're developing this rare resume through that. They are liberated because through these developed career pathway plans, they're able to self-actualize. They're able, able to internally reflect and see who they are and who they want to become. They see their future. And then we celebrate them. They earn credentials. Um, they get academic honors. And then, of course, one of the, the, the big celebration is commencement, right? Um, and then their post lane endeavors. We go back and we celebrate them. I, so, I was excited, um, screaming to the hills about a student who was in one of my sophomore seminar classes, um, which is the, I told you, the follow up of Career Pathways. And she actually went forward and got a full time job in the area that she was in. And she graduates this spring. And so I was beyond excited about that. And it's like, that's full circle. We're having those conversations in class. We're building that resume, making sure that you're ready, talking about what things you can do. And then, there it is. That's what you were doing. So I'm most excited about this, and I think we're most excited about this at Lane because the reception of our students, our students are excited about Lane Rare. Um, we have had successes thus far. We are seeing a shift in the culture and the thought process of what our students can be. No longer is there this idea that I have to be in a box. No, you can work um, from where you are and we can help to build you and help to bolster you and make sure that you have the capacity to go off and do all those wonderful things. And then I'm excited about the impact that this is going to have on this local community, this West Tennessee community, and then Tennessee altogether. I'm not sure if you all are aware, but most of our students are from Tennessee. Um, a lot of our students are from West Tennessee, more so the Memphis area. So that's really exciting because typically that means that not only are we preparing students to go out into the society, in global society, but we're preparing students to come right back to Tennessee um, and West Tennessee at that. And most, excited for, uh, most exciting for me is the fact that we are helping to prepare change makers. These are the persons who are going to go out. These are our, this is our new generation. These are the folks who are gonna go out. These are our new professionals. These are the ones that are gonna go out and make the difference in this world. And so to have a rare student who has these different um, expectations and this different standard is extremely um, exciting for me. And that is Lane Rare. Thank you. I do, sure. Um, if there are any questions, I'm happy to answer. Great program. Did I jump in front of somebody? Frank, brought the ball. I didn't jump well off in front of Frank. I want to be on it. Carl, forget about that. But you may or may not know that our city mayor, Scott Conger, is a lane graduate. He would be here for these other things. So I wanted to say that. Uh, it's been my uh, observation that you have great students and you produce a great product. Have you found that the rare concept enables you to continue that or even improve on that? I think. I think to some extent both. Like you said, we've been in the business of producing students um, who can go out and do great things. But I think this just enhances them. Um, and I think it gets, it to, gets them to that point sooner um, so that they're not kind of trying to still figure it out on the way two years down the line. They're getting a chance to really dig in that first semester and start to see things that they may not have seen um, typically until later down in their college experience. So I'm, uh, I think that that might be the transformative piece also, is that timeline. What's the most popular career path that's freshman shoes? Right now at Lane, we have a lot of students who want to be entrepreneurs. That, and, and I will say this, a lot of our students are coming in, they don't want to be entrepreneurs. They already have some sort of business. Um, so a lot of our students are, are interested in business majors um, because they want to go the, on the entrepreneur route. Um, and some of them we actually end up helping out because we're like, hey, you can actually major in this and do some other things with um, the business, get, take some business courses um, and to help where you're going. But yeah, a lot of our students are business majors and a lot of them want to um, own businesses. So it's exciting. We all are aware that there's something of a crisis in terms of teachers in elementary and secondary education. Do you have any students who are seeing that as a career path? 
So I, we are back in the business of preparing educators. So let me say that Lane College is back in the business of preparing educators. We are actually about to graduate our first cohort from the educators, um, educator pre preparation program. Um, I will say this, I just looked at the, since I'm over Lane Institute, which deals with the um, first and second year students, I just looked at the data um, from our first little group of students who are supposed to be coming this fall. And a good handful of them are actually coming for the education program. So that that is um that's encouraging that is very encouraging uh so we'll see um and that's only about i think about maybe a eighth of about what we're expecting this fall and there was a good little chunk there so hopefully we'll see those numbers continue to rise thank you all so much The program you've been watching was made possible through the generous financial support of West Tennessee PBS viewers like you. Please visit westtnpbs.org and make a donation today so that we can continue to make local programs like this possible. Thank you.